I don't know, Hocus. I uh, <laughs> I remember you uh, always used to make a joke uh, when I would work as a fundraiser for uh, my undergrad, telling them that you know, don't worry, the money you're sending is going to go to like helping students. It's totally not going to pay for the uh, president's diamond filtered drinking water. <laughs> I'm sure he's had to downgrade the I wonder if that even works because one of the big things about diamonds is that they're mostly like inert. They're not completely inert. There are certain chemicals that will dissolve them back into it, 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 won't, it won't change the carbon into another form of uh, another chemical, but there's ways to make a diamond turn into a gas back into carbon uh, uh, C2 gas. Or carbon dioxide, if you've got you know oxygen in the area, huh? So like, it's not that they're completely inert, but for the most part, like you're not going to put a diamond on the table and then the diamond's going to light on fire, burn through the table, and disappear. Like, it's not it's not reactive like that. So that that would be kind of funny if somebody was trying to use water to uh, sorry diamonds to filter water. I mean, I, I feel like in that situation, it's uh, if someone was wanted diamond filtered drinking water, it's kind of like edible gold. It's like it's not about whether it works or not. In fact, the fact that it doesn't work and that you're having it done is part of the giant power play. It's all the game that they want to play. It's like a, it's like how they make all the the wait staff in different places wear masks and stuff, Wait a minute, they don't. Are you telling me this is the same reason that fat people go to the gym? I believe fat people go to the gym because they're trying to turn their life around. Oh, okay. I mean, I don't know. There's also like a, in my college, there was also a gigantic snack bar and a smoothie bar in the gym. So, you know, it's not like they were really encouraging the best of habits. It's very Straussian, really. They're, like, how do you build a perfect society? Good calories. They're good calories. A hippie made the milkshake. Yes, it's 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 it's, uh, it's all natural That's things like Nutella and bananas and peanut butter. But that does make me wonder, Hocus, how do we go about building the perfect society? I don't know. I, I feel like the perfect society, if there were one already came by here and left the seeds of life and chaos because apparently the seeds of life if there are it's just chaos uh and then we're like this is funny peace out and they left <laughs> <laughs> there are those who believe that life here began out there oh, survival mode uh, survival <laughs> mode interesting when do they add this? Huh. I wonder what that does. Hmm. I don't know. Do we want to... Uh, you know what? Fuck it. If I'm bad at it... it... Yeah, I mean, if and I'm bad at it... And you'll get a tramp it... stamp. If you're bad at it, you get a tramp stamp. No, Got no, it. I like I... this. It no. is the perfect way to go with this. I mean, if I'm bad at it, it'll just be funny. I think 969 is a good number for the vault. Seek BAP, right? 969? It'll probably work. Yeah. Seek BAP. That's right, people. Society is collapsing. And you're all going to live here in this lovely little place. You're going to be uh, socially engineered into your ideal perfect form. Now I know that uh, That's what I'm talking about perfect form. So we're all gonna be like, uh, uh, what was that bad guy in Dragon Ball Z that had to eat people to become the the cell? We're gonna be like cell, and we're gonna eat, eat everybody and be the final form perfect. Oh God! I mean, yeah, I guess in a way that is how the Leviathan works. It will be weighed and measured. It will be placed where they are the most useful. Whether they really want to do that or not will not really be for them to decide. This is an emergency situation. And so their own personal whims are 
Not as important, Hocus. They must it sacrifice themselves be. for the greater good. The greater good. It shouldn't be. You know, I am looking at this base you are building, and in the first room, the very first set of stairs, it's a ramp. You fucking have a handrail, my friend. And then and then the second set of stairs in that first room also had a handrail. I, I'm glad that you're taking into consideration safety. Well, yes, Hocus, I've developed critical consciousness, and I've realized uh, that if I act like I care about them, I'll get a lot of people to do whatever I want, and then we can use them. And uh, then, once we're done with them, we can simply blah, blah, decide that we're not going to do it anymore. Uh, Blah, blah, deciding. That's just the best way to go about it. I mean, it works for the Democrats. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Let's see. You get to make water, and you will work in the diner. But I have a PhD. Well, was it in water purification? Was it in mechanical (laughs) engineering? Oh, art history. Well, to the diner with you. Oh no, it was a fire. Quick, you, help him, and you will grow bonded to each other through shared trauma and heroism. Hey. Hey, 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 don't don't feel bad. Don't feel bad about working in the diner. You you could get lucky, like that lady who uh, Shaquille O'Neal came into her restaurant and she did a decent job and he, he at the end he was like, How much do you want? And she was like, four thousand, and he wrote her a four thousand dollar tip. Hmm. I mean, that's good. You really should tip your wait staff. Four thousand dollars. <laughs> What are you doing just wandering around? You have work to do, woman. All right, let's see. Make my green tea sugar free. But I still want it sweet. Oh, look at that. Look at that, Hocus. A nice little happy fishbowl full of intersectional people uh, just seeing and feeling and acknowledging each other. No one's judging anyone. No one's uh, presenting their own biases to anything. And they're doing exactly nah, as they're nah, told. Nah. A perfect machine. Look, that's what that's what the the ethics department, the morality department, the the yeah, you know, humanitarian department, the all of those guys. That's what they care about. All I care about happens in the elevator. That's where we're gonna put <laughs> the goods, and I'm just gonna take inventory. That's that's how I'm gonna process the worth of each route how much they contribute to the elevator in the middle of the structure. Every Hocus. Everything else doesn't matter. If Sheila's cheating on Joni with Chachi, I don't care. If, uh, if uh, f- f- Frank is sleeping with Dozer uh, behind Jimmy Jam's uh, back, I don't care. As long as the, if they work in the lumber department, there's a lot of lumber coming out of the lumber department helping me out. That I'm not going to concern myself with stabbing and stuff like that. It's going to be hard for them to justify to me to build a, 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 a hospital in the base because I'm going to be like, well, the hospital doesn't produce anything. People go there to die. Like, that's, a, that's not what I want. That's not what I care about. I care about what's going into my elevator. And I don't want dead bodies in my elevator. That's not helping me. So no hospital. I mean, in a, in a proper world, a hospital would be something that you would have in order to prevent dead bodies, but... No, we you know. put a furnace in... In my shelter, we would use a furnace. If you're feeling sick, go throw yourself in the furnace. Uh, so Suddenly, so. there would be no disease. There would be no disease. Everybody would just <laughs> always feel perfect. Nobody would miss their vitamins because they know that if they feel sick... Well, if they don't feel sick or they throw themselves in the furnace... Well, Hocus... okay. the, furnace, the furnace provides heat for our steam system that helps us generate electricity. We're not nuclear power. We're human powered. Well, I can get behind human power, yes. We also fashioning uh, uh, with mirrors and proper architectural design and, and uh, just, you know, basic studies of the physics of light and uh, uh, magnification 
and, and dispersion and stuff like that. We we use the light from the the furnace to uh, light up our garden underground and grow some plants. I can get the behind steam, that. The steam goes up. Steam goes up, right? So the steam after it leaves the uh, generator on the bottom of the uh, the uh, fort goes up through pipes to the top and becomes water again. And now we have water going downward so we can run showers. We can use gravity to irrigate the crops. We can, you know, it, it, it all works out. It all works out. And instead of having to go outside to get rid of dead bodies, we just have the sick keep throwing themselves into the furnace. For religion, we'll teach them reincarnation. So they'll always believe that they'll come back. They won't have a problem with throwing themselves in the furnace. They'll be like, oh, no, I was born without a leg this time. Ha <laughs> ha. Mulligan, let's throw ourselves in the furnace and be reborn. Well, I mean, that if you want to go, it, uh, clearly, Hocus, you were given the COVID protocol for your vault by Vault Tech, where people just go in the furnace or for any type of, you know, mundane issue we deprioritized them or something and you know if, if you have to do what you have to do as an employee of vault tech i totally understand I, I believe that going your own way can have many dimensions and work in many ways and one of those ways ah excellent another brood sal and one of those ways that it can work is that if you find yourself trapped in these large institutions where you feel powerless or you think that uh, there's too much that you can stop you really aren't as powerless as you think you are. And so I've decided to scrap the entire plan that Vault Tech gave me, I, something about reality TV. And instead, I'm going to make this a control vault. And we're going to have a nice, a nice pocket. At least in this tiny corner, there will be something good. And who knows, eventually, once we've amassed our numbers and our tiny subgroup within Vault Tech Corporation has gained enough numbers and enough followers, enough loyal and hardworking, daring people ready to take on a challenge, we can move on to other things and other vaults and find ways to make life better for everyone. It's a lot of people you're trying to make life better for. I mean, you know, just little, little tiny steps. That's the secret of Fallout Shelter. It's all about tiny steps. Tiny steps towards a much larger goal drinkable water and edible food because that is going to be oh man that is going to be real precious in a year maybe six months if they double time it i mean in real life yes but in game it should already be that way right so i don't know being in survival mode is making incidents happen a lot faster already so let's see let's see what happens Ah, more visitors. We're going to get new dwellers faster than I can have them breed. God, this really is the American condition. God, it's just, they both have no charisma. All he does is talk about fucking Magic the Gathering or esports, and she's just this insufferable brat. Like, look at that. Her intelligence is a two, but her PhD in intersectional <laughs> topography makes her think it's an eight. This is going to take forever. Meanwhile, look at her. Sensible bun. Sensible woman. Strong back. Why won't they go for her? Here we go. What's this? Ah. Ah, yes. Some new blood. Unfortunately, we're going to have to resort to this until the people inside this vault get their collective shit together. We're going to have to resort to this. <laughs> you're the one directing their shit. And you're the one telling them to get it together. <laughs> I put them in the rooms, okay? They can put their bodies together whenever. If I could smash them together and just, if I could, if I could just find a way to chain them together and force them to be good and do good things and be smart, Hocus, I would have done that a long time ago. Oh, would I have you done that a long that. time ago? <laughs> Oh, God, these rad roaches. See, the rad roaches are the real problem. Well, that and the mutants, but that'll come later. I don't think the I'd other sign vaults... sign up for any... What? 
I didn't sign up for fighting mutants. Well, you know, uh, depending on how many vaults out there followed their uh, <coughs> global warming schedules, uh, we may have a whole army of mutants pounding at that door at any moment. We'll have to dig down. Wow, they okay. are certainly eating and drinking at a much faster rate than they normally do. This is fine. It's fine. I'll just put her in there. Then it'll all be fine. This is, we're not teetering on the brink of collapse. This is all, this is all just a perfectly planned command economy, you know? Oh God, we're all going to die. Hopony of distress. I'm not supposed to be an overseer. I have a philosophy degree. The fuck am I supposed to tell them what to do? Oh, God. Oh, the pressure. I'm just sitting at the overseer desk telling them, All right, everyone, back to work now. Work is its own reward, its own virtue. We will bring back yeah, the wasteland. Their, and then turning back into my their office. Two in intelligence, with their two in intelligence, they believe everything you say. So. Oh, God, I wish. That is one thing that's going to really be funny about all of this brainwashing, grooming in schools, is that the goal is to simultaneously teach them, you know, relatively complex things like how words are violence and how uh, social attitudes can be shifted over time uh, to make people do terrible things. But the thing is, you're going to need people with a, a certain level of acumen to get that. So once you get the kids too stupid, it'll just be like, oh, Crunk say word violence, but crunk no word not violence when crunk smash with rock. That violence. Poor, poor crunk from Emperor's New Groove. He wasn't that dumb. I mean, I, I, I know that given that last joke that I did would think that I don't respect our barbarian brothers, but if anything, I feel like if we had a few of our barbarian brothers in here right now, uh, this lab would be running a lot smoother. <laughs> we haven't been attacked yet, right? Not yet, but there have been some rad roach attacks and quite a few disasters. I'm worried that perhaps my ESG recruitment policies did not. Um, oh no, and now we're out of food and water. Oh God. No, but don't, don't they understand that this is the most diverse vault I've ever had before? No, you know what I'm going to do? Uh, oh God, no one's... <laughs> Perhaps Here's the answer the government is funding. no, Hocus. You understand the answer is more people making more people of color. Okay, I don't have time to, for all the stuff about water. God, now and there's roaches. Oh, God. I'm just trying to stop racism. Okay, let's see. What if? What if I make? Um, oh, God, we're good on power, right? Yeah. Okay, you're gonna fuck the black chick. Is she black? It, what name did the game generate for her? Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. The silver-haired anime people are... Oh, wow. Okay, maybe I just wasn't doing any typing. This guy's down with the swirl. Okay. Okay. Things are better. Yeah, already. Look at that. They're, they're moderately less upset. That's enough to win at least one more election, right? <laughs> oh, God. Why are they all white? Okay, I'm gonna have to redefine that one as Latino. We could kind of pass for you it, right? Can change their ethnicity. Uh, don't you? Understand. You really are like our government, changing the definition of the word vaccine and trying to make the uh, <laughs> the Hispanic population identify as white. I, I don't know what you're talking about, Hocus. Um, <laughs> uh, but I do know that if you check off Latino slash black. Uh, we're gonna give you a free gift card to Chili's. God, I don't like Chili's. <laughs> the funny thing is that I, is that we both totally know a dude who is just. I, I I wish that I had found a way to contact him again because I, I I really I just I'm telling you, dude. By the end of this year, he will be checking off Latino slash Black. Yeah, I mean, that was a good way to say it because I was about to say, what do you mean he definitely already checked it off? Especially if there's a gift card to Chili's involved. <laughs> 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 it's just something that unimportant as the compensation. Yeah, he's definitely checked off that box. <laughs> oh, man. 
I mean, you know, again, if you had been just... like, they give you a diploma in engineering, a, a doctorate in engineering, he probably wouldn't have. He probably would have been like, nah, I don't need that. Or she or whatever gender they've chosen by now. I'm sorry, Hocus. I, <laughs> you were making a very good point. I was just completely distracted by a joyless cash grab on the behalf of Bethesda. Um, my options are to go to the shop or to agree. Uh, we'll go to the shop, but don't buy anything. No, I, I just, I apparently hitting okay makes it go away. There you go. Oh, just, I mean, how, how did they, how do they live with themselves? Oh, God. By giving you an ultimatum. No, oh, no, no, God, they're so unhappy with me. All these fires. No, it, it clearly it was just some sort of gender reveal party. It wasn't at all no, the ones so of adjunct on. professors you, you on the pay of NGOs. Your population, you address your population stands racism, and their result was to become racist against each other. <laughs> I just don't understand. I, I, all I did was, oh, but look, look, they're dancing. Look, you see that hocus? Look at this. Let's, let's, let's do a little Netflix zoom in right there. Look at that. They're dancing. It doesn't matter that, oh, wow, she's miserable. It doesn't matter. That's how, oh, look, they just made a baby, a sweet intersectional baby. And While it's going to lord the fact over physical. everyone else. Like, no, do you understand, Hocus? Like, that baby isn't going to have to develop a personality. It's not going to have to get talented at anything. It's just going to have to be. It's going to have to carry all the cultural heritage of all of its intersections. Look, see, 74% happiness. They're all happy. So who cares if this bitch is unhappy, right? Actually, wait, I now that like she's I heavy with cheated. child. Are you, is, making, is having children making them happy? I, I I believe that, yes, actually, having children makes them very happy in this game. In fact, the okay. easiest way to, uh, to make I wonder happy. if they realize how, how unlike real life that is. <laughs> I've never, like, everybody who has a child, like, is happy for a moment and then, like, overwhelmed and then overwhelmed with grief. <laughs> like, that, that's everybody I know who's had a child is like, oh, my God, this is hard. Oh, well, of course, it's very hard, but, you know, life is hard. I mean, for some and really, I, I think that a lot of people make child rearing too difficult or they set too high of a standard. You know, I mean, you don't need the expensive disposable diapers. You don't need the fancy stuff. Uh, you just need good old fashioned cloth diapers. And then. I mean, again, once they start walking and once they start having their own opinions about things, you're going to wish that they were just, you know, dependent little meatloafs that just looked at you and trusted everything you said. And, you know, honestly, I grew up on a farm for a small amount of time. You know, kids can become a lot more self-sufficient uh, when you actually give them something to do. We're doing kids a disservice, honestly, by not making them take an active role both in the home and in their own lives. Uh, maybe. Maybe. It, it, it's possible that we could be wrong about everything and, uh, you know, making androids instead of children might be the better future. <laughs> well, honestly, uh, not to... Look, not... Would you rather pee oil or would you rather pee ammonia? Those are your choices. Yeah, well, not to get too technical with real world power structures, but one of the ways that I usually play this game is I don't actually have any of them breed. I just bring in nothing but immigrants. I mean, vault dwellers from the wasteland. Uh, so that that way, uh, whenever I need to dispose of anyone, it won't screw with the happiness. You see, if... Oh, if you have a family member, they get upset. Yeah, see, if people in the vault are all related to each other, or if there's a bunch of different close-knit families that have, you know, gone through struggles together, who know each other, who have feel a sense of community, then when I have to start disposing of people to bring in super soldiers that I genetically engineer much later on who will have perfect stats, 
uh, it's going to be a lot more difficult to do that if they're all, you know, in families and being humans. It's much easier if I just keep bringing in people from the wasteland. It doesn't matter where they're from or what language they speak or what they do. Really, they're just there to be biomass in the vault. So uh, whenever it's time to get rid of them, they'll just be turning on each other. They won't really care about each other because they won't have that shared sense of community and history. It's basic hear, human nature. I hear your truth, and I feel like it would be very successful. I mean, it's did you, I don't know if you saw the vault in my saves, but oh, oh, Hocus, I got a lunch kit. Sweet dopamine. I got a gotcha lunch kit. I'm not familiar enough with the game to know what that means, but congratulations. It's basically a booster pack of items. It's another way they try to milk money out of you if you won't just wait to play the game a microscope. Great. Uh, agent provocateur outfit. I have a spy costume. Uh, money, that's nice. Interesting. Interesting. Hocus, all of our problems are solved. I found my Obama. Luis Walker? <laughs> yes, hail Globo Homo. Hail the one world liberal economy. Everything is saved. Now the multiracial empire can be complete. Yes, go in there and breed. Breed, you big, beautiful black bastard. You will watch the door. Hocus, everything's fixed well, not now. Not him, he's busy breeding. Can he watch the door while breeding? Uh, no, he's just going to watch the door and he'll fight. Uh, Maybe he's, he can breed so ferociously in front of the door that the... the you know, zombies and stuff will see that and be like, oh god, let's not go over there. No, that's fine. He's just gonna make water now. <laughs> Although I'm wondering, if I do need to pit families against families the much in the same way that the government does, I probably could just have all of them breed with the black guy. And then once they all have a singular racial identity or a sense of commonality, then I could just have them turn on all the people I need to get rid of. Oh, she's a hefty girl. She's going to go work in that power generator and you are going to go work in the water plant. Uh, this gay couple's doing wonders with the diner, though, honestly. Tell me when they make a baby. Uh, 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 that's for stage three. But honestly, <laughs> by then, they'll have been engineered not to care about that. Oh, I forgot how droll this game is. It's like, this is the thing that's so funny about this game, is that you're basically just playing a pay-to-win fish tank. Yes, I'm aware the water supply is low. God, what do you mean? No, in there is there is no tank, low water the supply. The water supply is low in your fish tank. Hocus, get me Webster's. Redefine water supply. <laughs> well, what should we? What should we redefine it as? A uh, uh... indirect drought. Something. Anything. God, <laughs> look at the fires. Oh my God. I'm looking. That's oh. great. <laughs> oh God. You know, hiring Antifa to help me with this seemed like such a good idea in the beginning, but then when I told them to rein it in a bit because too many people were catching on, they just wouldn't stop. <sighs> It's almost like getting mentally unhinged college students, most of whom are on some kind of SSRI to do my dirty work, was a bad idea. Oh, but thank God, another mixed race baby. Oh, we're saved. Oh. They look happy. I mean, of course they're happy. I've redefined happiness to be what they are. <laughs> See, look at that. I thought you were redefining point. water. I thought you were redefining water. We're going to redefine whatever we need to, Ho, because clearly survival mode is not what I thought it would be. It's like I'm playing on Biden level difficulty. I'm just in. I'm just in the. Uh, I'm just sitting there in the. Oh, a black woman with a black man. I don't know if we can. Hmm, maybe the white one will fuck him. Uh, let's see. How many women aren't heavy with child yet? You, you have not been filled. Go, fill your belly with seed. If you don't do it, you're racist, Darla. Are you going to make a society where all the warriors are women and protecting their children that are working inside of the fort? <laughs> they, they, they get to like... Of course not, I want to win. To like motherly, that motherly lioness rage when they're fighting the enemies. 
I see Hocus. You see that when they run, when there's a fire. I mean, oh, finally. I, mean, oh. I might not have been paying enough attention. Can you start another fire? Oh, no, it's fine. They, they're just happening at this point. But Hocus, we got another bailout. It's another bailout, Hocus. The, the, the global homo is saved. It's fine. We've, we've got our Obama. We've got our future super soldier mixed race army. We've got a sniper rifle now. Oh, God. And money, all free you money. All the characters that Tom Cruise plays. Add a teddy bear that's now worth less money. Water. Oh, we got water. And a cat. A useless cat. Yes, I know. But healing speed means nothing. And he leveled up. Great. Fantastic. Wonderful. Oh, finally. All right. Now to make food happen. I forgot, how long does it take a baby to be made in this game? See, look at that. She's so no, happy. She's so happy to be swollen with child and laboring away. This is the real maternity leave. If they didn't want this, they would have voted for Bernie. Oh, God. No, you, you're supposed to be making mixed race babies. Mixed race babies. They have to be disassociated from reality and their culture. They can't have any commonality. Uh, Hocus, I think they've been given too much free will. We're going to have to have another pandemic. I mean, can can we turn up the vent? Can we turn up the AC and just make them think global warming's coming underground? Just tell them the deer revolted, and whenever they actually investigate into it, be like the deer is in the machinery we used for farming. <laughs> Hey, they're the ones who wouldn't give up meat, the selfish piggies. They should be happy to give up meat and eat only granola bars and, and bugs and crickets. I mean, not to be insensitive, but that one's not on me, so yeah. I, mean, I, I won't do that, but they won't know that because I'm in the overseer's office, except the real joke is that now that we've been communists this long, the only difference between me and them is that I get my crickets sent directly to my door. Wait, where are all your people? Are they sleeping? I don't see them. No, okay, wait, I see two of them. Okay. I believe there they're they dancing are. now. Yeah, there's people dancing, you're right. Yes, exactly, and that's the dancing, and then the boinking, and then the babying. Oh, baby! Yeah, see, look at that hocus. This is why the military is not going to have women, sorry. Like, if there are women who don't do that, then absolutely put them at the front of the lines. But if they're pulling that shit, no. I mean, Jesus, I'm not going to have us lose a war just to satisfy your fragile fucking ego. Sorry, I feel like I got distracted. What's the alternative here? Are you expecting the baby to be hanging out upside down, holding two pistols, and then, like, whenever he's done going back in? Like, what? <laughs> Uh, yes, that baby's going to come out uh, packing two six-shooters, and that's going to be enough for him. A mom with two AK-47s or something. Is that the bathroom? Okay, for, I have. I was too zoomed in, and I thought it was a single-stall bathroom, and I was like, that's too small. I mean, honestly, if I was creating my own society, that if I actually were in the terrible position where I had to socially engineer anything or fix this situation, one of the first things I would do is try to make women not think that birth or ch children or motherhood is a burden because it's not. Um, I think that people have just sort of uh, been trained to think that and because women have had just a whole lot. I mean, really think about it the way that um, they say that capitalism has destroyed uh, or doesn't value women or uh, maternal things. And it's true. I mean, the first target of the consumerist engine was the housewife, was the homemaker to transform all of the work into, you know, machinery. And then after that, it just became, okay, so we're just going to sit around and eat bonbons all day or something. 
when no, that that should have freed them up to focus more on motherhood and more on their own hobbies and uh, interests or philanthropy, starting their own business even. Hell, go back into the workforce. If that's really what you want to do. If you just really need that. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, it, it, I, I think that, you know, everyone talks about The Handmaid's Tale and The Handmaid's Tale is just such a neurotic uh, delusional, psychotic type of, oh god, again just every time okay, well at least the gay dudes handled it, see, that's why I that's see, I'm totally <laughs> the, fine the, ho- I'm the, fine oh, with this hocus, as long as the diner works and they put those fires out I really don't care <laughs> they haven't touched a single kid do you know that he yeah. actually works extra hours just to make sure that we ro- don't run out of crickets <laughs> see the god in everyone hocus see the god in everyone let's see here i believe i got derailed oh yes have you ever seen welcome to frog town that's actually uh the movie the i was what? getting out to- yes it's called welcome to frog town um and uh we may do a, a much lengthier bit on it at some other point but essentially it asks the same question of the handmaid's tale where something terrible happens some kind of an emergency situation happens and because of this uh we go handmaid's tale like they, they leave that part out like the reason that all these things are done to women is because sterility just sweeps across the entire human species and you know I kind of wonder sometimes if the reason that that happened is because uh, women just kind of didn't want to be mothers. Like, think about it. If to like in right now, today, we're telling people that, okay, we, we need more babies. We need a, we're facing a population collapse of a massive scale that could have widespread consequences. And of course, most of the people in our generation and younger don't think about the consequences of that because they're young and stupid but you know wait until we're 60 or 65 and there's no one working and we just have to still be purifying water and powering the plants it's not gonna be a pretty sight they don't really think about that now but later on they will and again it might be time for people to make decisions for them when they fail to see reality and you know if you have to do it you don't want to be a dick about it And I just think that you don't need to necessarily go Handmaid's Tale if the women are being obnoxious shrews and they just refuse to understand that, well, if you want a high paying job, you're going to end up probably making more money than your husband, especially if you want to rearrange society to make it a woman's world where we are more feminized and more peaceful and more bureaucratic. (sighs) But again, if you're not going to realize that, you're not going to see reason if you're not going to actually look at reality then you got to be put back into a different place you have to step aside and i think that stepping aside doesn't have to be trading down Uh, welcome to frog towns a really good example of that uh in this society they still need women to breed they still need women to essentially be you know brood sows for lack of a more elegant term but they don't hate it. In fact, they're revered as goddesses. And why shouldn't they be? Again, they are the seed of life. They are, uh, without women, we would not have the future generation. We would not have the children. Uh, it should be seen as a celebration, as, a, as a, a sort of power that they have. And in this society they have, the women are actually far more powerful and far more valued uh, because they see them uh, for that power that they and only they uniquely have. And again, those feminine forms of knowledge that they like to talk about that are geared towards making them being good at being mothers. As soon as they just stop, you know, resenting the fact that they were born women. You know, the way serial killers are supposed to resent the fact that they were born men. I'm going to go chop up all the women and make a skin suit of ladies because they were born with the parts I wish I had. I I thought serial killers were just supposed to be more psychopathic or extremely emotional. Oh, yeah. I mean, more the archetype. The in between. Usually, like, like really steered to one direction of it. 
That's true. I I guess I mean more the archetypes, the uh, the ideas behind it, the, the the things that exist in our collective unconscious. God, like just go in there, God, just shoot things, Jesus. Lack of segue between you saying horrible things about your vaults and the conversations we're having is very uh concerning horrible things <laughs> you leave people distraught horrible things hocus these are the happy they are 93 percent happy they are two percent less <laughs> less happy than alex jones was right they're, they're more percent happy than alex jones percent of being correct oh no no less uh because they're at 93 percent happiness and i'm putting him at about 94.5 percent correct at this point <laughs> like i mean at this point all we really need to do is find out that the aliens are real and not just a religion for a bunch of crazy people in the deep state well one question uh uh no, I forget it. <laughs> no, I mean, again, I feel like if there was any time for questions or a free form type of conversation. Can the elevator the in, in your game go up or can it only go down? Oh, they go always, Hocus. Like, like, okay, okay. So the top floor right now is like, let's say, ground level. Can you have a floor one above that and a floor two above that? Uh, oh, no, you can't go any higher than this okay. point. And there are weird rules about development uh and the room you can't destroy a room once it's connected to more than one room so if you make an elevator and there's a floor below it is connected to good luck destroying that elevator i hope you put it where you fucking wanted it um so normally i'll just have this one elevator shaft going all the way down and uh, everything will be here there's other things too like a living quarters here and a overseer's office in the corner so Everything that runs in just gets Gatling gunned by a six person wall and then comes into the overseer's office and I'm hiding under my desk. I mean, <clears throat> quarantining myself because of COVID. <laughs> and so they go back into the quarters and uh, fight the uh, fight the people in there a second time. Of course, again, that's what I'm going, you know, deep state America mode where I'm just bringing in nothing but wastelanders. Uh, to replace the population because I try to make it to where none of them breed. Again, because they're more disposable that way with less fam with no families in the way. I mean, if it works, it works. It'd be interesting <laughs> to try like uh, it'd be interesting to try like the philosophies of different like state governments or different like countries governments on uh. I like the little civilizations you build in there. Huh, interesting. We might have to explore that concept later. I don't know if this would necessarily be the good one for it because I, I don't know if I can just convert the diner into nothing but equity turn up to sta turn up to stations. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, how long does it take them to shit those babies out? Turn up gestations. Let's see who's on. I here. like it when you talk dirty. Turn up gestation, yes. Ugh. God, why? I forgot how tedious this game is. You literally just sit here. It's a fishbowl. It's literally just a fishbowl. This may as well be Fish Center. This is just a postmodern deconstruction of Fish Center. But with what? What? The, what's the plight of these fish? What are they fighting against? The, the lack of oxygen? Fucking, they need to grow a plant. Uh, with Fish Center, I believe it was a lack of viewers. It's a lack. <laughs> ahead of its time. Truly ahead of its time. What's my population limit here? Okay. Oh, I have room. I have room for five more immigrants. I mean, Wastelanders. Uh, let's see. I believe there's there's an easy way to get money, but I'm going to have to build... Where is it? There. I'll need 18 people first. Once once we reach that... sacrifice them for the god of money? Oh, no. Once we have the overseer's office, we can go on quests. And then... Uh, let's see. We can skip the weapons workshop for now. The radio studio is great because I use pop culture to lure in more people from all over the wasteland to come in. 
which again makes them ultimately more disposable. But if you tell me I can't do it, you're racist. <laughs> oh. I mean, I'm not going to tell you. I'm just going to fund other projects instead. <laughs> no, ah, no, okay. don't dare. You, if you step aside and form your own vault, one day your vault could oppose mine. Oh dear, I'm going to have to find a way to make all of your children gay. Good luck, because they're all the same gender. Android. Oh, God. He's three steps ahead of us, Margaret. He's already got nine binary cyborgs. We're still operating Margaret, with human one of point my androids. Oh, God. Margaret is my original android. That's why she doesn't even look like an android. She looks like a human. No, see, Hocus, you're China. When you do it, it's evil. When I do it, it's destroying racism. But somehow none of my people complain because I silence them. <laughs> did, I, did I do that wrong? My bad. No, I mean, that's usually how it goes. I remember one time I was watching some interview uh, in China or some documentary about China. And it had a, a, a comedian uh, who was sitting there talking about how um, or no, a rapper, not a comedian, a rapper, a Chinese rapper talking about how you should obey the police, listen to the authorities, do what you're told. And I just thought, good God, like that. I, I just, again, every time I see it, I see the Chinification here too. I see that like everything that we're getting distracted by all these things that are coming in are just so alien to us because it's so clearly China having done an anthropological study on America and now turning that into a weapon to make us basically become them. I mean, when you find out that most communist countries get rid of people by accusing them of things like white chauvinism and the way that communist countries use race wars to di drive people apart, I mean, it just you just start seeing it everywhere. God, this is the other reason I don't use birthing. It just takes so long. I could just grow people. I could just grow. I could just, oh. even better, I could just, I don't even need people, Hocus. I don't even need people. I'll just make super soldier monkeys and I'll put chips in their brains because their brains will be easier to control. Oh, okay. So my Android idea is not a good one, but the super soldier monkey idea is suddenly going to roll out into play on the red carpet. Okay. <laughs> it's just, I can grow monkeys. I don't know if I can grow Android parts. We sold all of our Android part mines to China. That's sad. Oh, that makes me sad. But hey, you know, uh, Senator Feinstein just really needed to pay off, I don't know, home number five, diamond filtered drinking <laughs> water. Diamond filtered drinking water. Uh, I mean, you might as well leave the diamonds outside of the thing. Oh, but but it, that's right. It's, it's like you were telling me that uh, it, it's more a show of status than actual functionality. Exactly. It's all about power. It's about them realizing that I'm allowed to have it and they're not. Just like how I make them all wear masks. And I don't. Can we make up like pH 69 water? I know that that's like insanely deadly because pH only goes up to, I think it's like 14. I thought, <laughs> pH, I thought pH 69 was the sexiest water. I mean, yeah, it takes you to the next dimension i guess no honestly if i was trying to analogize 69 into drinking water it would be that thing you do with hiccups when you try to drink water out of a cup but in reverse like instead of taking the closest part of the lip of the glass to your mouth you try to drink it by putting your lips to the furthest part of the cup's lips and then you uh, turn it, it that way all over you. yeah pretty much but you're so confused trying to do that that you forget you have the hiccups <laughs> oh god another fire i knew sending them to grad school was a mistake all right which one of you is working for soros wait i forgot wait am i working for soros oh i was getting so confusing how do i change what i have equipped so i want to look at a different one
if you want to change what you've got equipped, you know, just change your equipment. Go your own way with your equipment loadout. Don't don't let the don't let the blogs tell you what uh what the most powerful outfit is or the best you know build is. All they know is what they've been told or researched. They aren't finding the new ways. Go your own way. Go your own way. Go oh, no. get out of here. Go your own way. Oh no, we focus. Don't, we don't want you here. It turns out my NFT scheme did not go as planned. Your NFT? Oh. oh. Non-flammable tokens. I mean... I apologize for that. The only way I that. can you is I can't, so... Oh. What percent of fires are you having? Did that say 13% fires? Oh, no, it's a uh, rushing. You roll the oh, dice okay. and you get an immediate payout and a little bit of money. Uh, but, you know, there's also a chance of something bad happening. And that's another way that they kind of reel you in because it's the only way at the beginning of the game that you can get money is either by spending money on lunchboxes or rushing rooms, which risks the eye, which risks the situation of a fire or some kind of incident. Yeah, it looks like. But I mean, a fire easy. doesn't mean that you're going to lose the room, right? No, it does mean so that you, they'll you be unhappy, though. It. Oh, but if they, if you're right, Hocus, if my policies upset them too much, I'll just replace them with people from the wasteland. I'm unelected. I'm unaccountable. I was appointed by Vault Tech. <laughs> All right. Work, you little queers. I want artisanal sandwiches. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> now add a poetry night. Cut the sandwiches in the form of an infinity <laughs> symbol. Yes, I've gone mad with power, Hocus. Let's see, energy. They have to... <laughs> Solar panels on everything. No more nationalized oil. Oh, what's happening? Oh, God. Wait, why are we running out of power? No. Oh, God. The solar panels aren't working. The women are screaming. They can't watch their Sherlock. The babies are sun tanning on the solar panels. Uh, it appears that the homosexuals are into some sort of polyamorous three-way thing. Luckily, Obama's not there. Which is good. We'll need him for breeding later. Yikes. Look, listen, Hocus. If I can't actually defeat the real problems, then I'm going to make a different problem that I will then tell them I'm going to fix. It's really that simple. And so when I tell them that I'm getting rid of racism. Like oh, no. That idea sounds effective. As long as they don't stumble, stumble uh, upon the truth. <sighs> That's fine. I'll just bring sports to the vault or something. See, exactly. Look at that. He's dressed like a football player. I'll just have him throw a ball around and they'll be happy. That's all it will take. Excellent. 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 92% happiness. They don't even realize it. <laughs> I've caused so many fires and food shortages and they're still happy. They don't understand. <laughs> they're so safe in their little bubble. They would never come to stop me I until mean... it was too late. <laughs> I feel like you have a bunch of people that look for silver lining in your vault. Like, they're like, oh, no, there's a fire. And someone's like, is there a fire? Or is this actually our vault lord make, allowing us to make grilled cheeses in the whatever the bottom room is, which is not the kitchen? Hocus, I understand your criticisms. As overseer, I see you and I hear you. However, those cheese sandwiches... A part of Obama man's culture. And so if you aren't going to support those cheese sandwiches, then I'm going to have to revoke your new black status. You will be demoted from a person of color to a person of insufficient color, which is fine. Through apologies and mandatory training, you can redeem take it away. yourself and take it away. Don't, color. don't, no, that's fine. Take it away. I don't like poetry that rhymes anyways. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Very well. I revoke your... <laughs> Very well, I revoke your status. And I clap my hand to your face and all the melanin sucks out into a tiny little crystal like in The Little Mermaid or something. I take you to court for fucking uh, assaulting me by by slapping my face. <laughs> because now, now you took all the you took all the black away, so now I'm white. And if we go to court, I'm newer white than you are, so that means that I am whiter than you are, and I will win the case. Oh Ooh. no, you're right. Only now, at this moment, do I see the error of my ways. Unless I redefine what white is. <laughs> Quick, someone give me the White House in a dictionary. <laughs> the page is what it means to be white is just a bunch of white out. <laughs> Whiteness is whatever we say it is. Blackness is whatever we say it is. Whatever we say it is, is what it is. Get back to work. You know, it really is funny mentioning the idea of courts and race with this whole Brittany Griner thing going on. How familiar are you with that? Uh, I'm not sure that I am. Oh, man. Okay, so so basically uh, this chick who's a WNBA basketball player uh, goes to okay. Russia for some kind of game. And she gets caught at, I want to say, the airport or somewhere. At some point, Russian authorities accosted her and found a whole buttload of vape pens and THC oils in her bags. And, you know, Russia Russia isn't as lax about those things as we are. <laughs> and uh, she was arrested. And there's been, of course, this whole public outcry about, you know, oh, we have to save her. You know, this is a terrible thing. You know, evil Pootler. He's trying to, you know, make us look weak, etc. And Apparently, we're going to trade some kind of, like, prisoner from Russia that's some kind of spy assassin that we've been holding just so we can get this WNBA, and I'm using this word that I'm going to use here very, very loosely, star. We're going to basically trade an assassin spy for a basketeer. And it's just because I remember back when I first moved to the city uh, and started hanging out with a very intersectional artistic crowd that we're both familiar with and seeing on social media when that one guy, I forget his name, but he went to North Korea and he took down some kind of propaganda poster saying that uh, he wanted a souvenir and taking a little piece of, of uh, you know, North Korean propaganda home with him seemed to be like the best way to go. Uh, well, apparently that's some kind of crime in North Korea. And so when yeah. that happened, he was arrested. Uh, and he, when he was finally brought back to America, he died shortly after from all of the massive brain damage that he had sustained. Oh while in North Korean holding. And I remember uh, every single fucking liberal person I knew, even some of the conservatives, but mostly just the liberal people from center left on down to the farthest reaches you can find, were saying, oh, well, you know, North Korea, like the, the more gentle ones were saying things like, well, North Korea has its own laws and we need to respect them. But most of them were saying things like, fuck you, white boy, you think you're special? You think you can just go around and take posters wherever you want? Well, other countries have other laws, and they don't do things the way that we do in America. They don't do things in the West, and you need to start learning how to respect other cultures, you white devil. And so they had no sympathy for him, no empathy for him. They thought it was funny. They thought it was funny that he was going to basically die in some North Korean hole uh, just because he, uh, you know, stole a poster. And again, these are the same people. Intense. That's very fucked up and intense. Yeah. Wow. And again, it's these are the same people talking about, you know, one minute it's about we're all the world and we have to have these unified values that are their values. And then the next minute, it's everyone's different and you have to you have to do the way things the way they are wherever you are. It's, ugh, God, I don't want to rant about that tonight. 
I'm not going to rant about that tonight. Tonight, we're trying to find a way to build our perfect intersectional society that will keep people so distracted with the idea that they're actually making the world better that they won't realize that we're all dying. Or maybe we're already dead. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, God, is it like lost? Uh, is that what happens in Lost? I don't know what happened in Lost. It was the stupidest fucking show I ever saw in my life. Like, I knew <laughs> in, in the philosophy department, I knew a couple of people, most of them people who shouldn't be there, uh, who who were really into Lost. And they would talk about how, oh, in this season, this character's named Hume or Locke, and and the, the weird scenario that has to do with the island is tied to that philosopher. And first of all, maybe, in the vaguest of senses, it was tied to that. Uh, but in reality, it was just trying to sound really deep by making a bunch of references. Oh, God, now there's roaches. What? <laughs> Just like in Lost. What am I looking at here? My, oh, my defense goes up. Mm, that's good, but... Oh, God, I forgot. I'm, I'm just forgetting that I'm terrible at this game. Thank God we have critical consciousness. <laughs> You know, it's funny. I think uh, I think our mysterious patron, uh, who from here on out will be referred to as Mister Teal, uh, is starting to come around on things too. He uh, recently told me about. Uh, apparently, <laughs> this is another one that's that's really funny about this. Apparently, so apparently Ben and Jerry's made some sort of stance on the Israel Palestine situation. Shall we say? What a random. Okay. Okay. What. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, don't worry. But I'll feed your baby birds. Don't you worry. The uh, the uh, so Ben and Jerry's came out and made some statement about uh, Israel Palestine. Either they, I believe it's they did the whole like Israel shouldn't you know be there. They don't own the land and so on. And um, so because of that. Uh, a thousand Jewish law students and some Israeli law students and some kind of student organization. Uh, I don't know if it was all Israeli uh, citizens or if it was people in America of Israeli origin, whichever, but a thousand plus of them came together and wrote a legal argument, uh, filing a claim legally, like uh, clay. I, I believe it was a legal claim and not just some feckless PR statement uh, that, uh, <laughs> that Ben and Jerry's is operating on native land. They on it, native land. Yeah, Israel played the "you're standing on native land" card, which I mean, you know, take what you will about that and their goals. I I, uh, I can't. I can't. I feel like it might as well have been like Macy's or or uh, any like small kind of store like uh, In and Out fast food. <laughs> it could have been anybody. Like this is, this is, oh my god! Like God, I wish Ben and Jerry's. That like it almost feels not, the fact that it's Ben and Jerry's makes me feel like this almost is insignificant. It's just Ben and Jerry's trying to get some media time so people will be like. Let's go get ice cream. I haven't thought about Ben and Jerry's since I was four years old, ninety years ago. Let's go to let's go to Jerry's. <laughs> you know what is funny? I feel like there's a lot of people who don't know it exists. Like it is funny when I was um when I was uh more uh, shall we say plugged into the left wing publishing world. I would often tell them like you know if you honestly don't like this situation if you don't like the weird cancel culture shit uh and you're not just saying that just to you know end this conversation and move on so you can do what you want to do while being held unaccountable uh then maybe we should start manufacturing these controversies and these conflicts why not actually play cancel culture in a way that benefits the canceler and the cancelee 
you could both become celebrities out of it. Mm. Instead of, you know, back a long time ago when people were sane and uh, not, you know, blatantly, unartfully careerist, um, they would find ways to just debate each other. And that would be the way that they would gain attention, like uh, Zizek and Peterson. Okay. But they don't want to do that because you have to risk potentially looking like a fool. Only fools fall in love. But the beauty is if everyone just, you know, grows a pair and starts being willing to look like a fool, well, we've all looked like fools. Oh, God, more roaches in the breeding chamber. God, they have no, no respect. Are the babies responsible for the roaches? Or are the roaches responsible for the babies? Oh no, what's happening? I believe the actual, I don't want to be a part of this society. I believe the actual end game mechanic is that the rad roaches show up in any room that's touching dirt. And that eventually they become little rats. But I'm just going to tell the people that it's because they're still racist. Obama, say, you're going to have to guard the fuck room. This war of attrition is not going my way. Much like in America. Oh, more Much water. Like in America. Da 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 America. Da 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 America. We got a <laughs> black president in the fuck room. And he's filling up all the ladies with interracial babies that we will conquer the planet with in the name of the planet. Declaring war for the oh, sake Bobby. of everyone by redefining what everyone means and making sure they don't think about the fact that everyone must include the people we're fighting against. Boom, boom. What a frightening song. <laughs> that's why you can't declare war for the sake of all humanity that's why it's cheating this is why the only truly intersectional thing, the only true multiplicity the only way that you could have a singular entity that contains all would be you know, capital G-O-D hopping along these sprockets you gotta make your own fun when the game is basically trying to be boring to make you spend money on it. Do, 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 I mean, do, 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 do. That's why we gave you a box, do, not for you do, to sit in it, but for do, you to think do, outside of it. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm just sitting in the overseer's office while there's fires and roaches and famine, and I'm just kind of playing with a little, a little, little stress ball, just going, "This is my stressy ball, and it dances on the desk." We are dancing in the room, ignoring all the pestilence. <laughs> Thank God there's no diseases or they would all be fucked. Like you think people like you think people living in this vault, the minute one like type of truly serious virus comes through here, <laughs> they're all gonna die. I can see that. I mean there's only one, two, three, four, five rooms, and I guess that if you want to count the elevator, then that would make it eight rooms. There's not a lot of place to, to hide from the infested people. That's true. Actually, you can. I mean, like, take monkeypox, for example. It's not only gay and bisexual men. We're now up to almost six women. Of course, it's a nightmare for our bad. equity division. Personally, I think we can do a lot better for women and society. I believe it's time for us to increase the number of women who have monkeypox for the name of gen in the name of gender equality and equity. Now, I understand for the future. I understand that many of our women do not want to get monkeypox. Well, that's fair. It's understandable. Most people don't want to lose their privilege, your monkeypoxless privilege, smooth skin privilege, shall we say. But in this case, they must be forced to step aside if they will not step down, or rather stepping up. Because again, to even say that 
monkeypox is a bad thing or that having your entire body covered in horrific scars is a bad thing is really just another form of prejudice and bigotry. Old. Oh, uh... These idiots have no idea what kind of precedent they truly set, and I love it. I thought you already said they didn't vote for you, that <laughs> you were imposed <laughs> no, on them by course. Paul. No, so that's the beauty of it. I still make them have elections, and they think that that's what causes things to change, but in reality, as soon as whoever they elect comes into my office, I tell them, okay, this is how it actually works. Why do you think they all age so fast? Price of freedom? Yeah, I don't know. As long There's this one upstart who's trying to cause some problems, but I'm pretty sure we can cook something up by the end of the year. Fingers crossed. God, he's going to ruin everything with my wastelander strategy. He's going to try to make them have families and like care about the people in the vault rather than caring about the vault. What about me? What about the guy running the vault? What about my profits? I'm just kidding. No one in the government actually thinks in terms of profits. If they did, they would actually be competent. People don't want don't want the government to be successful. Yeah, that is true. That's a funny thing. It's like, when you think about it, America is a country built on people who currently paradoxically want the government to do everything for them, but the government wasn't built for that. In fact, the government was built for the opposite of that, specifically because, as we saw during COVID, you can very quickly make it to where society is now dependent on your treats, your resources, the things you do for them. And they can just decide to take that away as fast as they gave them to you. Yeah. Yeah. But I think it's funny that like, so during COVID that the government was giving out, uh, uh, I almost said reparations. Uh, it was like assistance. I forgot what they called it. Um, uh, to, to, to the U S citizenship or whatever, all the people, the citizenry, uh, Nobody realizes that the government can actually go the opposite way and they can raise our taxes. They can like penalize us and say that it's because of the pandemic that they're trying to, you know, help every, you know, they can come up with the excuse and take our money away the same way that they can come up with an excuse and give us money. Oh, absolutely, Hocus. That's the secret of the emergency situation. See, I've got them thinking about fascism as just being some kind of guy slamming the pulpit and making weird tweets and saying lots of funny things as being a sign of fascism. But in reality, the actual secret of fascism is the way that you escape the liberal condition. It's just declare an emergency situation. And once you declare the emergency situation, you can throw out whatever you want and declare your scalp super king big nuts. And they don't think about that. I mean... Because I'm giving them so many mixed-race babies. I thought Obama was the one doing that. Well, was you, you know. all along... Just call me Merrick Garland. <laughs> uh, we're going to definitely need to get some more revenue here. So. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, if we just do that five more times, we might be able to build one more room. God, how much would it cost just to build another fuck chamber? Oof. Oh my. Oh, 13. I just need one more dweller. One more dweller and I can start making stim packs and then they won't die. There's so much food now. There's so much food now that I taught them to eat fungus and crickets. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> And I redefined water to be spray paint. Look at that. Look at how hydrated they are now. I'm a hero. You are, sir. No one denies it. Exactly. I should get a statue. 
and put it right here in front of the vault. And we'll tell all the wastelanders to come, so they think that I want them here, so they don't think about the fact that I'll be throwing them away as soon as I'm done with them, too. <sighs> Although I do understand that since I did let them vote, I will inevitably have to find some sort of way to completely break that system down. I'll just redefine the word for democracy or something and just make them think that keeping this large, <laughs> unaccountable, unelected bureaucratic order in power is what democracy is. What did they open the door to? Now every, the answer to everything is redefining everything. That was always the goal. Why do you think in, in college, you know, the only people who were actually learning how to argue were the people who were studying, you know, analytic philosophy. And even then, that was just a bunch of useless word puzzles most of the time. Uh, you know, it was a, uh, most of them just only understand how to pivot and reframe. That's why, again, you have to be a racist. You have to be a Nazi. You have to, we have to redefine famine or shortages or inflation because there's no actual way to argue with the facts. The facts are the facts. I mean, ideally, unless you change the game. Well, that's stage two. That's when I'm going to start building the people instead of having to bring them in from the wasteland. I thought about trying to do a Biden impression for this, but I've decided to do the actual Biden instead of the clone Biden that we see on TV. Look at the earlobes. Do, do, do. Different earlobes. They change because camera angles. But I love fucking with them. Boop. It is deeply satisfying when uh, <laughs> there are so many times when I'll just play the game of, you know, oh, lordy me, I don't know nothing about no systemic racisms. I sees a bunch of people fighting somebody because they looks different, and I just see one of them big, colorful, fractal images. I do, lordy, lordy, sure enough, thank God you's here to give me your wisdom. Lordy me, I just see roots, and I think it's Star Wars. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I don't know why I thought you were talking about, like, hair roots at first. <laughs> and you realize you were making a bigotry. Oh, no, it's fine. I actually haven't seen roots. That's the bigotry. Yeah. <laughs> it's not because it's a bad film. It's just because everyone's telling you to watch it. So I won't. I can't blame you for not watching something you don't want to watch. Oh, Hocus, for many of us, not wanting to do something that we don't want to do is the hardest task of all. <laughs> Camus? The, the, the fall? No? Wait, wait, what? No, I'm unaware. I may have butchered the quote, but uh, Camus' The Fall. Most people enjoy Camus' The Stranger because it's a... Pretty accurate representation of someone who's deeply depressed, but um, is also deeply I'm comfortable. Not aware of any of this Camus stuff. Oh, Camus! He was a an existentialist and absurdist writer. Uh, the Stranger is his big one, uh, but The Fall is the one that always resonated with me the most. It's a much more accurate depiction of the fact that humans are really just fraudulent, power-hungry pigs. Of course, it's set in a time much like our time today. I'll have to check it out. Tamu or Toma? No, Tamu. Uh, Camu. Uh, C-A-M-U-S. Uh, oh, with a C. Yeah, The Fall okay. is really good. Um, the Stranger is a classic. Uh, it's more part of the traditional canon. If you want to name drop a book that's going to win you points at the coffee shop or the the hipster round table, uh, drop Camus, The Stranger. They all definitely read it in high school and totally resonated with it. Um, the Fall, they're not really going to be into. I, uh, I had a professor who discussed uh, the, her reason why she had her classes 
read both books. And it was because she personally liked to see uh, over the years that she had taught uh, how the culture of the times affected uh, which of the two books that her students resonated with more. And uh, you know, like, how do I put this? In the 80s, more of her students liked The Fall. In the 90s, more of her students liked The Stranger. And the gay students always liked The Plague. Well, that's interesting that she ran that little social data gathering experiment on her students over the years. Oh yeah, that's it. It actually does say some does say something about her as like a person and a professor because like I feel like most professors nowadays wouldn't be teaching for thirty years and wouldn't even <laughs> think if they were to teach that long, they wouldn't ever think about collecting that kind of data. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to dox her or anything, but. I'll definitely say that once I got out of school, it was very difficult. Not so much law school, because that was kind of a fucking joke. Uh, but undergrad, I, I was very fortunate in that I had professors who were more like the classical 1970s liberal education. Uh, and and when, I, when I say that, I mean, you know, not the leftist brainwashing, but the classical liberal education in the the idealized form where the end goal is to create, you know, critical thinking individuals who will be aware educated citizens and go out into the world and share their knowledge with others and so on. Um, and so for a long time, people would complain about colleges and I, I just didn't see it because I was like, okay, yeah, sure. These, these twat bags who have no business saying anything or running around talking all this, you know, leftist, CRT, privilege, PC culture, run amok, whatever name it's being called. The point is you have to name it because like any demonic force, it chooses to remain nameless. So you don't have power over it, um, which is why they hate uh, the CRT thing and why they wish it would go away because it's it's named it and it's named it in such a way that it can't be stopped now. It's been named in its truest sense. <laughs> And, uh, you know, demons can't really get away after that. But the, uh, yeah, th that was my whole problem when I got out of school was, you know, it's not like, you know, I, and even when I moved to this city, when we went to a, a house party, oh no, oh no, my first death, what will I do? I'll it wasn't just... Obama, right? No, no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't the brood Sal. We're good. We're good. <laughs> yes. Yes, I'll just well, we'll just I mean, write this if one your off. Diversity, as a... gosh, uh, that's what aliens want. They want all the non-diverse people so that they can like ex gather them easily. Oh, Don't have no. to sort them; they're not diverse. And then oh, experiment. No. Oh no! Hocus. So you, you you've given them so much trouble by diversifying your your vault that like they're just not going to come there. Hocus, one of my vault dwellers he... died, and I can't use money to revive it in survival mode. Oh, how am I gonna write this off? You get to keep the gun and the and the the clothing. Yes. Oh, oh, this was my okay. I did lose my high perception guy, but he was white. We'll just say it was a death of despair and move on. Yes, it's fine. I mean, you know, it is actually it's not fine. It's horrible, and it's literally everything that they taught in Holocaust class. So it really demonstrates that. Uh, there's no point to it because no one learns a goddamn thing. But I'll just call it a death of despair and they all just shrug because they're, again, they aren't committed to each other. They aren't connected to each other. They don't really, they're not families. I don't think he had any kids in there. No one's really going to care. They'll just keep going on. All they really care about is seeing their next Marvel film and getting their next cricket bar. As it should be. This makes them more easily controlled. Hard truth. And anyone who doesn't agree with that is just a Nazi. Not me, the guy declaring an emergency situation in order to do whatever I want with no accountability. Yeah, it's a bunch of teenagers that are making jokes uh, that really just demonstrate that you don't understand what fucking irony is. <sighs> I'm you sorry, Hope. You stop hating your vault denizens so hard. You, you like lash out at your denizens real hard in the vault. <laughs> <sighs> they know what they did. You're like yelling at one of them, calling him like 
Sheila, and he he like trying to try, and he's like, my name's not Sheila. I just have long hair. Jesus, <laughs> oh, why are you no. so mean to me? Oh no, I'm not going to inject that. Uh, trust me, Hocus. I'm not going to bother with the trans thing until much later when it's time to start reining in the uh, bringing in the super soldiers and the genetically engineered people. I'll find a way to make it a civil rights movement to you know to trick them. But uh, for now, I do see your idea, though. And I'm going to keep it in my pocket because that does sound a lot of fun. Just breaking one of them, uh, just keeping them in my office and just having a little fun. Like, uh, and I have no mouth, but I'm a scream. <laughs> oh, man. You know, I am really you're, much you're a... You're a voice in your head. Your <laughs> voice in the head. <laughs> you know, I'm very you much convince a... them each that they're unique and they're the only ones... <laughs> <laughs> they're the only one that can hear you, but they can't tell anybody else. But you have they are all worshiping you. They're all aware that you're like the vault god, but none of them dares to speak about having ever heard your voice. Well, that's <laughs> just because I told them that I slayed a unicorn. <laughs> and used its horn to drink its blood. God, why woman? Birth from your loins the next generation so that may we may replace the deaths of despair that have happened. I don't think she's appreciating the fact that you summoned Obama from the end of the world into this existence to be her spouse. Uh, this is true. That it's, it's, it, you, you, this is the other problem. This is why I can't have a society run by women because no matter how many rent boys, swarthy men that I send them from the wasteland, they just won't be happy. They'll just use that one up and then they'll be done with it and they'll get bored and they'll go on to another one, but they'll still expect him to give her money until she doesn't have to work and she can just sit around all day producing multiracial children. Honestly, in a lot of ways, by stripping no, 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 their no, rights no, no. and putting I... them in birthing pods, I'm just cutting out steps three through seven and giving them what they want subconsciously. I mean, maybe, but I, I feel like you'd be more successful if this uh, breeding buck was, uh, like, blind or something. So that way he's, like, technically handicapped, and they won't be expecting as much from him. You know, they won't be looking for the child support from him because he's blind. You know, it's funny. If Again, the, the easiest thing would be to do my, my immigrant method and just not have them get pregnant at all because they only run away when they're pregnant. Uh, this is kind of oh, funny. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, yeah. If, if they're women, they'll if they're not pregnant, they'll just keep shooting and everything. This is what uh, Socrates was getting at when he talked about uh, the issue of gender and society when he was discussing it in the Republic. He doesn't really start with, oh, you know, women have their feminine forms of knowledge or their girl brains and men have their penis boy brains or whatever. Uh, he didn't say things like, well, men are physically stronger and women are more maternal he starts off with birth simply because it's a facticity of if we don't have more people society collapses and women are yeah. the ones you need to make more people at, at least that's what we believe it might be like one of those things where it's like you don't really need water people have just been thinking you need water all this time nobody ever tried just not needing water <laughs> well, let me just say this, Hocus. Um, as many as them wa who want to reject their own identity, their the facticity of their femininity, they don't realize is that if I was actually orchestrating a society where birth, reproduction, replacement wasn't the goal, I was just getting people from the wasteland and bringing them in or building my own in vats, I would never, ever, ever, create a woman why would i and i don't say that because they're bad i love women i support them i'm saying from the perspective of an evil dictator who only cares about power who sees humans as biomass who sees them as guinea pigs to use however they see fit from that guy's perspective there's no use you just want you know super mutants like the master and fallout one Okay, okay, hang on, hang on. So, 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 I, I feel like we have a metaphor we can use that, that it actually gets ignored a lot. We make computers, right? Yeah. 
But when we're making a computer, a computer in a very liberal term, you can say Xboxes, Playstations, Android cell phones, whatever, anything. Uh, but do we give it the need to be gendered and do we give it a, a partnered gender that it needs to be able to complete ta uh, activities and tasks with? <laughs> like, can a computer not save without uh, uh, a device to save onto? Like, originally, you know, it kind of was like that. Like, the, the for the most part, like, you couldn't save on the computer. You would have to use a... <laughs> A five inch floppy disk and then a two and a half inch floppy disk because technology. <laughs> but, but you know what I'm saying? Like, like we, we don't do that. We, we don't, we're not trying to make things dependent on something else to be able to work when we create like that. Like, uh, there's examples that might go against it. Like, I, I, I think maybe a little bit like, like the way that uh, our forefathers made the government, right? that like the, the, they wanted a party system so that way it wasn't like one person got the reins and went gung ho and ruined the country before the other party could get a chance <laughs> to, to, to not to ruin the country not to ruin the, the the other party gets the chance to rectify the errors oh yeah a one party right? like, a one party that, that was state the idea terrible. yeah i mean if you that want a one party idea, state you know. look at mexico oh god yeah. Well, I mean, the thing is actually, ironically, the uh, founding most of fathers Latin America, didn't like political yeah. parties, but that I think that's one of those things where they were just being a little too idealistic. I mean, and also, like, you, you have to think of, like, what knowledge, what experience did they have? You know, we've experienced the decisions that they made, and so it would make sense that either their decisions worked so well, we don't try to change them. Or if there were any kind of error with their decisions, we try to revise or change them. I mean, it, it just makes sense. I, I, I mean, I mean, I'd hope we're not so stupid that we're like, this isn't working. Let's keep doing it. Like, <laughs> no hocus, exactly. That's that's why they put the phrase "more perfect." Uh, you find your typical, you know, yeah. Reddit tier atheist or college. Remember, liberal. I was talking about that poetry that doesn't rhyme. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you find your typical college. I think living. that's the most racist thing I've ever said. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, again, Hocus, we are new wave critical race theorists. Nothing we say is racist. We're merely making a critical assessment of race. Okay. See, it works. They're killing all the rat roaches. I still wish any like all the race stuff. I, I wish there was like no validity to any of it. But stereotypes are formed because people make observations. That that statement does. I, if there's people listening to what I'm saying right now, that doesn't mean that people's observations are correct. An observation does not necessarily mean that it's a truth. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean that's like, that's that's kind of how all the CRT stuff works. Is that there's never really argument. It's like they label they they'll they'll look at a group of people and through that like for example white men and they'll look at the media that they're consuming their culture their behaviors their their uh, it's called an ethnography and it's a form of anthropological study and weaponized anthropology is what we're dealing with and what we're up against um the you, you don't necessarily say oh a, therefore B, therefore C, or make an argument based on premises or conclusions. You just take a specific thing, a certain trait or behavior, and then you say, oh, they do this and they all do this because of this other thing I want to attach to it. You know, like the way racism works. Yeah. <laughs> It's, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Not racism. Critical assessments of race. Right. <laughs> right. That's, we, we have better words now. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Oh, but yeah, no, you go up against any of those, uh, what you were saying about with the Constitution and the more perfect union. A lot of people always look at that and say, oh, the founding fathers were stupid. They just didn't know. And it's like, well, no, you're being kind of a literal minded moron. Uh, because again, <laughs> they can't make that very basic leap that you and I just made with the idea of what more perfect 
conveys. No, it's fine. Obama's going to take care of it. I mean, I just, I don't see why anybody would make, going back a little bit, like, I don't see what the purpose of making gendered, it's not about making a female one. It, like, it, 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 it would be the exact same argument. Why would you make a male android? Like, well, why why is, would you make a gendered at all? Why would, it, 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 ideally, you would take the best of every option possible. Like uh, people who are born what, what medically we identify as male, people who are born medically is what we identify as female, and especially the tiny, tiny percentage of people that have existed throughout the beginning of human, like since the beginning of humans, the tiny sliver percentage that are born not male or not female. I, I'm allowing for that group to include every variation possible that you could think of. Like anything that might benefit from that state of being, from that per like any positive that that person experienced that a, a, someone who was born male or someone who was born female could not experience, or or like let's say those people for some reason their tendons are springier so they can jump better or or something like that, or, or they can land better. Okay, well that's the benefit you would want to take from that person and put into the android you're creating okay well then let's let's right. let's right. break that apart to 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 clarify uh something then uh so when you're talking about giving them gendered traits uh we're not talking about say to go back to dbz the idea of um just an android that's like any other android that you've just given uh, a feminine form physically um just to make it look like a woman but you could have two androids right. that are similar that are just cosmetically a female <laughs> presenting god i just oh. i love that you use dragon ball z because that android goes on to have children oh god well at least she embraces the her female humanity. android is not a male android because she goes on to have children and then, and then the male android is not a female android because he goes on to have children too but he doesn't birth them huh in the female's case, she, her, and uh, I don't know if you remember the little bald boy Krillin, they end up together and they give birth to a daughter. She gives birth to a daughter. I do. And the day that he perfects Destructo Disc, we are all doomed. He does. And uh, it, it, it's in the tournaments for universes or galaxies. No, it was universes. The, 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 <laughs> the tournament for universes I was telling you about, that was ridiculous. That all happened because the god of existence was born, and he's like, Goku, what should I do? I'm bored. And Goku's like, let's make everybody fight. <laughs> well, that's Goku's <laughs> solution to everything, honestly. God, another fire. One second. I'm sorry, Hocus. I'm going to have to deal with all this racism. Yes, yeah, send in the homosexual. <laughs> that's what you want to hear a president say. Because <laughs> that'll stop everything from flaming. Uh, find two homosexuals. Uh, I just need one more dweller, one more dweller, and I could I could fix all of you if you would just breed faster. I would give you all the health care you wanted. Uh, behold my empire of dirt. Uh, how do I how do I how do I do this did she wait that one is not heavy with child did did she give birth did I forget about her oh no you want to focus on your career and that's adorable but what you don't understand is that if no one's special that includes you now get to breeding Motherfucker, who are you? Where did you come from? Fuck you. Well, Hocus, <laughs> some say life here began out there. Dear Lord. Oh, okay. oh this is hey, fantastic. Just... They're going to kill these roaches, and then they're going to fuck. Perfect. Perfect. Ooh, that got intense. 
With so many games I play in Archer, I don't often fight against archers. I just got overwhelmed by these wind archers. It was absurd. <laughs> like their arrows had like spiraling like wind tornadoes on them, so they would suck you towards the arrow, and then since the arrow's moving, it pulled me in. And I was just like, what? <laughs> like being pulled across the battlefield. And then like four more archers that aren't like super wind archers would like attack me from a distance like that. Wind I'm just archers? saying I didn't appreciate it. What are wind archers? Are there so um, are there bows so I'm playing, I'm made playing, out of the wind or do they, they shoot the wind at you? They can use wind elements. Like 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 uh, I'm playing uh, Wizards of Legend. So uh, essentially like they they may use certain wind arcanas and the one that they used is you instead of just shooting a regular arrow you shoot a wind arrow and it's like has a spinning vortex around it and anything that the vortex touches gets sucked in and follows the arrow uh and then when the arrow hits a wall like everything crashes into the wall and then like ricochets off or whatever huh interesting Perhaps we'll have to have some sort of dark academia. An academia of color. And learn all about wizardry. I've almost unlocked. I've almost unlocked all. I think I'm one or two spells away from unlocking all the colored uh, arcana. And then uh, there's the chaos arcana, which is black. And I have not. Uh, I haven't figured out how to start unlocking those. I figure once I unlock the last spell I'm missing or something, I'll be able to start unlocking the Chaos Arcana. But I, I don't. There's only one character in this game that uses it, and it's the uh, the Grand... What is it called? The Grand Mage? The, the, the Grand one Wizard. Who runs, who runs, <laughs> I can't remember what it is, because he, he runs the academy that, that you're at. I remember one time I was playing a game where they let you make your own uh, class. Oh no, another death of despair. Two deaths of despair. Oh, but it was a ho oh, it was a homosexual. It's it's good for equity. This is fine. This is all fine. Yes, of course, a death of despair. You were just too racist. It was it was the racism. <laughs> oh god. Oh god, hocus. Oh god. No, oh god, no. they're all dying. Hocus. Hocus, why <laughs> Why, why, why would Trump do this, Hocus? <laughs> Hocus, what's happening? It's, oh God, Hocus, we're all dying. They're all dying, an Hocus. Example with the few, so that the many can live. Why is racism letting this happen? Wait. <laughs> oh God, Hocus, everything's falling apart. This this only happens when the bigotry is based on false observations. Oh, it's fine. It's all. It's all. It's all fine. So fine, you know. Actually, um, with all of those deaths, we we just um, increase the percentage of those who are diverse in our vault. So it's just everything's good. It was good that they died because now we are less racist. No. Oh God, I'm left with nothing but women. Oh, how is that? How's that? You can make those babies grow up fast. Oh God, I don't know. And if and if it's only Obama left fucking them, they're all going to be retarded. Oh God, I've already <laughs> Hocus. You don't understand. I've already reduced the requirements for entry so low just to make this happen. I don't. I I can't. Oh God, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna appoint. Uh, I'm gonna point that. I'm gonna point that black woman to be my spokesperson. Oh, <sighs> Namorosa. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Oh. Put Namorosa in charge. Okay. Oh, thank God for a second. I thought I was gonna be held responsible for some of this. <laughs> oh, see, look, they're dancing. Fuck, see? Another wind archer. God damn it! You yeah, see, life no. goes on. Uh, see, life goes on. They're happy again. They fucked. They forgot about it. That's sex magic for you. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. Oh, God. You just fucking so drop lube down the head. dungeon and everybody's happy. Oh, God. Oh, God. The price of gas is getting so high. There's only so much diesel left. We've got maybe one, four months left of this, and then they're all going to turn on me. What am I going to do? 
Oh, God. Uh, build a furnace. I told you. Uh, I told yeah, you. We might have to have that furnace. We might just <laughs> we need that furnace. Can we double furnace. time it? Oh, God. I'm so glad I didn't really build a radio station or they'd start talking about all those FEMA coffins on it. Oh, God. It's okay. Hopefully the women will just give birth and I can double time the bioengineered super soldiers. Right? Right? I mean, what's the worst that can happen? You have to you have to run your vault with zombies. Can I do that? Is there a necromancy option? <laughs> that would be pretty funny. God, if I could honestly if that were an option, a supreme dictator and I I, I mean ombuds person. Yes, see, exactly. They love it. They love it. Gender neutral and non authoritarian. 100% happiness. I've done it. I fixed everything. Uh, wonderful. Wonderful. I'm glad I was right to believe. Okay, sorry, Obama. You're going to have to get to work now. It's. It, it was nice being in the fuck room, <laughs> being president. You can drone whatever you want. Imagine but... him being disappointed and being like, "Oh, I thought we were bros." No, it's <laughs> like... fine. It's it's fine. You and Michelle are just going to make Netflix specials and have a nice Martha's Vineyard estate where you install your own natural gas well, and no one asks any questions about what that might mean. What's going on in the <laughs> diner? I imagine that the reality of it is that Obama is like that that uh, episode of Black Mirror where like the the girl like makes it into the singing show. Oh, and I forget what the guy. <laughs> I, I was thinking does, about the, the other episode, Prime Minister Pigfucker. Oh shit! I forgot about that one. That's really that was really fucked up. Yeah, honestly, if it weren't for episode three, I believe, the entire history of you, I would have passed on that entire series from the get-go. Damn, I didn't know you hated me that much. (laughs) (gasps) If it wasn't for the entire history of me, he would never have watched television. (laughs) Well, oh man, I saw something that, like I I don't know I I just I don't feel that it's good, but I don't care enough to feel negative about it. But like I saw a list of live action animes coming to Netflix, oh, God. including like One Piece. They're doing a Full Metal Alchemist movie, um, <sighs> but I, I don't I don't think I don't think it's a redo of any of the. Full of Metal Alchemist movies that exist, or the the two <laughs> shows. I think this is new content. I believe this is new Full Metal content, huh. which which, a, a, in one way, I'm kind of excited about to see like where did he go with the story? Because I loved Brotherhood. Like where did he go with the story after after Brotherhood? Then, uh, but where did at the same she time, like, go with the story after Brotherhood? My bad. Where did where did it? go with the story uh, I'll allow it. <laughs> um but the the thing that i started thinking about as i kept going down the list and then i was like they're doing one piece as a live action uh is the more cgi is needed for the the live action i feel the less good it's gonna look like I remember back to like the Dragon Ball live action, and that wasn't very good. People hated that. Uh, and then I think to the Roroni Kenshin live action, and that was totally fine. Wait, Roroni Kenshin? The Roroni Kenshin one was totally fine. He's a samurai. Was that Samurai uh, X? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Roroni Kenshin was also Samurai X. I think he was in three different series. I don't remember how they go chronologically, but they 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 all are canon in the same world, and they go in a specific order. Interesting, right? Uh, uh, it would be like the equivalent of like a Shonen Jump, I believe. Uh, oh man, I was about to say like, pardon me if I'm wrong, but I actually hope somebody's listening to this and like jumps in and is like, no, 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 this is the difference between a Shonen Jump and the whatever you're talking about. yes hocus because if there's one thing i love on the internet it's arguing about that 
I wasn't going to argue. I was going to be like, cool, I didn't know. Thanks, now I do. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, if you want, I'll try to argue. Hocus, uh, uh, friendly communal uh, engagement, amicable behavior. This does not sell television. Or does it? I don't know, dude. You had all these people making babies on your vault. I don't know. I watched a, I I was sitting there watching. Every uh, time that a fight starts, you stop the fight, you put out the fire, and you make them have babies. (laughs) And you're telling me over here that I shouldn't be friendly, I should be aggressive and, like, start fights? No, you should convince them that that's what they want to do. And then make them fight each other so they don't fight you. Man, you have all these special attackers. You don't have any physical attackers. Raise someone's attack stat, bro. When you pull up that menu, all of the guys are special. <laughs> oh, no. Wait a second. Did I... Wait. I I think a rad roach attack was about to trigger, but then my... Rad roach infestation failed? Yes, because of my alternative energy measures, uh, a fire was, um, oh no, oh no, no, Obama, no, oh God, Hocus, we've lost Obama. We've lost Obama. No, he's not dead yet. Someone find a buxom transsexual woman. Oh God, Hocus, the roaches came back. The roaches are back, Hocus, oh God. Oh, I God. like that when Obama dies, the fires get huge. <laughs> oh, God. You know that the day Obama dies, the fires are going to be huge. I remember the day, <laughs> the night that Obama was elected, and I was uh, with a bunch of people I knew uh, downtown watching an election party. And when the results came it's in, only... everyone started cheering, taking to the streets, jumping up and down. The police had quartered off uh, an entire city block. Uh, so that people could just chant and jump up and down, Obama, Obama, Obama. And one of my friends that I was there with, she took me out there and I stood there with them and I just couldn't help but think, you know, I wasn't prescient. I was still very liberal. I just remember having this deep, dark gut feeling, not about Obama or anything in current events, just by the nature of what I was observing that something bad was going to come of this. And well, here we are. What happened? Oh, wow. That was a cliffhanger. Okay. Oh, you, you know that pretty much everything that we're in right now is because of Obama's second term. Like a lot of the rogue agents in the federal bureaucracy, he was the one that appointed a lot of people to the administrative state who were carrying all this out. Be touch on like one of the most recognized things about how our government works. A president in his term doesn't typically accomplish any of the things he sets out to do. A wise president sets things up so that they'll finish after he's gone. Exactly. You're setting up something that lasts. And so you, you like, if it's a quick burn, then yeah, like like uh, when Trump came into the presidency, there's a couple of things that like he was able to do in his term, and like you can't argue about it. Like for sure, he did it. Like he changed healthcare, he removed, like he definitely charged everybody for that last year, and like was like threw his hands up, was like I can't do anything about it. But- <laughs> <laughs> so, but he definitely like he took a piece of the pie. Like I mean, not, not personal. Not, not 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 like he walked away with the money, but like that money went. It's like taxes. That that liter- that penalty works like taxes. It works exactly like taxes. So he, he was able to grab money to fund government projects and whatnot from from that last year that he allowed of government uh, uh, of the government being able to penalize you for not having health insurance. Uh, but then f- for the rest of his term, he had gotten rid of it. And as far as I understand, they haven't brought it back yet. So that's one thing that he definitely changed. Um, another one was that, that he was able to do during his term was give people money during the emer- during the pandemic. That wasn't a different president's doing. Like that was, I mean, of course, anything that he, a president does, not anything. The president does have the power to do a few things by himself, like sign a peace treaty and stuff like that. He, I, I forget what the 
the power is called, but essentially he's like the top ambassador for the country. Like whatever he, he wants to do as ambassador, whatever he can, he can represent our country like that. Um, but for the most part, like when people attribute stuff like, uh, I don't remember cash for clunkers. Was that under Obama? Yes. Okay. Well, Obama didn't do that. There's a, there's a Senate, there's a whole government and the, the pieces have to fall into place. Obama may have participated by not vetoing the bill, but he didn't do that. <laughs> like, it, it, it's weird how people say that the president <laughs> is responsible for so many things that the president doesn't do. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, <laughs> you know, uh, I, I think I've said this before and I'll say it again. I'll say it until my ass bleeds. The uh, the deal between the government and Pfizer to uh, do all of its weird censorship during COVID, pass all of its weird disinformation shit, find ways to essentially protect that emergency use authorization by any means necessary as per the terms of the contract with Pfizer and the government wasn't signed by Trump, wasn't signed by Biden. It was decided by some unelected, unaccountable bureaucrat in the Department of Health and Human Services, someone whose name we'll probably never know. Dude, we, what? I, I don't remember his name, but this was a televised event when the decision was made. Oh, the decision was they, made, but the contract was signed by announce. someone. What? They didn't announce like like that they were gonna do it. Uh, I forget exactly the details, but like uh, somebody confronted the head of the CDC on a televised like like as if it was like C not not CNN uh, uh shit what's it called C SPAN really yeah yeah and somebody was like essentially told them like why don't you do this why don't you do that and they said we don't have the funds and then they brought up the law and they said according to this code right here in this book right here it says da 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 you can declare a state of a pandemic and immediately get access to limitless funds to then be able to fund making the, va you know, putting out the vaccine, getting masks out, blah, blah, blah. All the stuff that you're saying we don't have money to do to protect the people from COVID. It's right. You, have, nobody else, you don't have to call anybody. You have the authority to do it. And the guy was like, I do. <laughs> like, <laughs> he was like, can we verify that? He was like looking behind him, asking people to double check that fact, like they did. And she was like, so now that we know you can do it, what are you going to do? And essentially, he said, I'm going to do it. And he, I mean, they didn't do exactly what the people wanted, but he went, he declared a state of pandemic, got access to the funds, and they started fucking doing shit. And they were able to roll out the vaccines and all of the stuff that you and I talk about all the time. Like, <laughs> where, where it's like where information that's not revealed to the public because it is allowed to be hidden since it's a pan to state a pandemic. Oh, yeah. You mean like how they uh, like, have to tell yeah, us the but, raw uh, ingredients in the vaccines, but they don't tell us the actual strands of mRNA that were used in it or what they specifically do? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, they could just exactly. put whatever they wanted in it. They give you they give you some information, but like the the it's like subverted. They give it to you blurry. They don't give you the true facts and everything like that. They were they give you just enough information that you you shouldn't be able to discern what's actually happening. Well, that's how you engineer consent. Yeah, there's a book, um, I believe it's called the Pentagon Papers. It was written uh, about the Vietnam War and it was about I, I'm, it's been a long time. So I'm hazy on the details, but the guy was essentially through his own analysis of the Vietnam War and seeing what was happening at the time. Uh, he came to realize that there was an entirely separate government in America, that America had two governments. Uh, the government of the Constitution, the government of the Republic, the states, the elected officials, the elected representatives, and the deep state, the administrative state, the large amorphous branch that wibbly wobbly in a sense is part of the executive, but also at the same time is not. And since its inception, since the moment it was 
created. Eisenhower really underestimated it. It, from its get-go, it saw itself as antagonistic to the American people and antagonistic to that republic, because of course, why wouldn't it be? The republic is another form of government that is antagonistic to this uh, <clears throat> this bureaucratic administrative government, if only for the function that they both want to rule over the same country. Jesus, put the fire out on that guy. <laughs> I don't know. Without like a... another room. He's in the elevator on fire. Oh, my God. Where did he go? Where did he go? I, I lost track of him. <sighs> I don't know. In many ways, I feel like we've all lost track of this vault. Things are going horribly, but they all seem happy. And that's what's important, right? I can just redefine it as are much as I want Are they still all now. women? No. Are they still no, all? There's, there's three men left. God, imagine being a, a vault of three men and, uh, let's see, six women. Nah. One of those cabaret okay. songs. dee 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 mm-hmm. two ladies. It's why I feel bad when I look at people and it's like the dude, his wife, and like four or five daughters. I'm like, oh, man. No one understands you. <laughs> like, no one in the house has a clue what you're going through. <laughs> oh, God, just reproduce already. Do I just have to shove money into you? Well, if you're going to tell us that we have to have babies, Mr. Overseer, then you're going to have to give us the money for it, and you're going to have to pay for all those babies. Okay. Well, you know what you need for uh, if Here's you want money. more babies, more beds. You need a bed for every baby. The baby's made on the bed that he's going to sleep in for the rest of his life. I mean, it seems like I have so capacity for beds. I have capacity for twenty eight dwellers, and I'm only at nine. <laughs> oh God! All right, you need some aphrodisiacs. Oh no! I think I may just need to call it for the evening. I don't know, Hocus. I, I just don't really have any as many hopes as I thought I did before. Uh. Nah. Look, look. It, it is, it's fine. Just leave it running in the background and let them kill themselves. I mean, I, I try desperately to survive. And then, uh, you know, just start a new civilization next week on Thursday. <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> next no. Next week on Thursday at 11 p.m. <laughs> Will the vault dwellers survive? Will they run out of power? Will they find a way to breed? Will, <laughs> will incest be the downfall of our civilization? Will, can- will cannibalism sweep across the land? Find out next time. And then we just smash cut to... All of your questions will be answered right now. And then we smash cut to the place just completely <laughs> dead. On who wants to be a millionaire? Okay, here, just take the... Oh, God, he doesn't have the cat. Who has the cat? Who has the cat? Okay, sorry, buddy. I'm going to take the WAP from you. Take the WAP. Take the WAP. God, the only help that I can give them is is this comfort animal. You know what's funny? I got a re-email from my apartment <laughs> complex yesterday. Uh, an announcement uh, to all of the tenants. Uh, that as per uh, the com- the apartment complex's rules, no one is allowed to have their pets in or around the pool. However, okay. apparently someone tried to use that Americans with Disabilities Act bit to say that uh, their animal had to be with them at all times and therefore their animal had to be at the pool. Yes. <laughs> and, well... Apparently, they had tried to use the defense that uh, they needed their psychological comfort animal. No, yes. no, that's not how that works. <laughs> that's they, definitely not how that works. They made you the could argument. just not go to the pool. Like, literally, that's the answer. Like, not, not to get an animal so you can go to the pool. Like, literally, just don't go to the pool. Like, <laughs> That's crazy. Or, or find a, a, there are apartment complexes that specify, like, the, the most important thing for them is that they are pet friendly. 
Be- because there's apartment complexes that aren't as pet friendly as people want, there's people who go and open and make apartment complexes that are that's the primary thing. It's like, hey, you have a dog. This is the best apartment complex that ever existed for dogs. I still don't think that they should just let their husky swim at the pool. I mean, are you going to clean the pool? At that, that point, it's like like when an apartment complex is like, okay, well, we have a pool table and we have like a theater and blah, 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 like surround sound system. Like it's really nice, but you got to drop a thousand dollars to reserve it if you're going to bring friends over to use it. That's true. Oh, God. We'll, we'll give you back your down payment. We'll, like if we got to rent a carpet shampoo or something, we're going to dock that from the like that. That's what they do. I mean, and honestly, that's not a crazy request but to to put all that equipment and like you rent it out essentially but it's even cheaper than that because they're saying it's a down payment they're gonna or not a down payment a a deposit and they're gonna give it back to you whenever you you finish with the room and check it back in huh maybe i should try that here that might work I don't know, Hocus. I think what, that. What do they do there? I don't know, Hocus. Honestly, I think I might just have to end it for the evening. I'm looking at the roster for of my sure. dwellers now, and with these casualties, it is painfully white again. I'm going to have to, if we're going to institute these equity measures, we're going to have to reduce these white faces. I mean, have them step aside. Yeah. <laughs> I just got, with the power going out, I don't even think distracting them with racism is going to work anymore. I, I don't know, Hocus. Yeah. I, it's all good. It's all good. I didn't even name any of them. I'm not attached. <laughs> well, all right. Like then. my mom. All right, then, Hocus. Maybe next time we'll start this off. We'll see how those babies do. We'll uh, we'll we'll see if we have to correct the the burdensome whiteness of this vault, and uh, we can move on to uh, yeah, maybe finding a way to uh, not have them all die. Until next time. Excellent.